This course is aimed at a wide variety of people from recent graduates to uh, mid-career professionals who want to take some time out to reinvigorate what they're doing to get a chance to have some new thinking, new learning. Food security is a critical issue at the moment and we need to find ways to feed people which are sustainable. Agroecology offers an alternative to conventional systems which draws on ecological principles in terms of agroecological production. The Centre for Agroecology, Water and Resilience is part of Coventry University but our main site is based at Wright and Organic Gardens, which is 10 acres of organically managed land about five miles south of Coventry, and it's owned by a charity called Garden Organic. And we're based right in the heart of England, in the countryside. We're near Birmingham Airport, we're near major motorways. We're easy to get to from London, but we're also in a very appropriate setting in organic gardens. What's unique about the course is that it's embedded in the Centre for Agroecology, Water and Resilience. And that that group, that community of practice, is committed to transdisciplinary research and teaching. That it takes seriously the knowledge of a social scientist, a natural scientist, a fluvial scientist, a biologist. And it takes it as seriously as the knowledge of farmers, pastoralists, indigenous peoples. And it's a cutting edge area for agroecology. It's finding better ways of blurring the boundaries to come up with knowledge that can't be reduced to one single discipline. And that's important when we're looking at ways of transforming knowledge to address the many challenges we face in food and farming and human well-being. We look at food sovereignty as well. So we think you get food security through food sovereignty to get more ownership on how food is produced, uh, who produces it, uh, who consumes it, and, uh, and, and I think that's our unique take. This course comprises seven mandatory modules and then four optional ones, and of those four, each student can select two. The mandatory modules range from agroecological production systems through to stabilisation agriculture, which is in humanitarian situations, to food security, which deals with aspects of food policy and social issues, environment, energy, and then four optional modules, such as remote sensing. So it's really quite a, a wide choice with feel we're offering. From the understanding and learning they develop within the core modules and theory and their own key interests as well, we encourage students to develop a project proposal which then moves into a full-blown project. You could go out and do some field experiments but it's really something where students really could make their own mark and we will help them and, and guide them through that research. We have students from all over the world we have younger students, but we also have much older students, and there's a very nice mix. We, we seem to attract both men and women in fairly equal proportions. We would encourage students to apply from a variety of different backgrounds, and the job opportunities that present themselves are linked to those backgrounds as well. Having a background in agricultural economics, which is more conventional, so I thought of doing a course that's more that is more tailored towards the sustainable agricultural system. Realising that there's a very different way of doing agriculture, a very different way of doing farming and how productive it can be, uh, as well as you know dealing with huge issues around ecosystems and biodiversity, that's the special thing I suppose about this course. So after this course, one could either take an academic route, maybe go on to do a PhD. We've got about 160 countries in the world which have organic farming now, so this whole sector is there. Many have gone on to work for NGOs associated with ecological principles of agricultural production. Then there's obviously the government sector, you can be an advisor, a farm inspector. Nutrition, development aid, humanitarian work. I mean, the list is endless, really. Food is a vital thing in our lives and there's nothing better that anyone could do as a course like this. I would say the best thing about this course is its novelty in terms of it is one of the only courses, particularly, well certainly in this country, which 
explicitly expresses agroecological principles and ties these to food security. And we've received many inquiries recently from people who are very, very keen to be part of the course exactly for those reasons. Thank you.